Hello darlings, it's me again. And if you hadn't already guessed, my accent is uh, not fake. It's definitely a British accent because I was obviously born in England. And you may be thinking, wonder where she's going with this. Well, today I'm making something that's quintessentially British. You'll find it in the pubs, you'll find it in restaurants, you'll find it in a shop on the street. It's fish and chips. Friday is always fish and chips day, but I'm gonna show you how to make my version. So let's crack on. So here I have some potatoes which I washed, peeled and chopped into proper chip sizes. This is not a French fry, this is a British chip. It's dried and there's no seasoning on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry these first, but I'm only going to gently fry them, not colour them. Just bear with me. The pan is on, the oil is hot, so let's just see. We don't want it too hot, just a gentle heat. So I pop these in. So these potatoes are on a low to medium flame. Remember, we're not colouring them yet, we're just gently frying them through. So these have been frying for about five, seven minutes. Now you can see they haven't got any colour, so at this point I'm going to drain them on some kitchen roll. I'll come back to these in a little while. And now for the fish. I'm using four fillets of nice white meaty fish. Traditionally back at home we'll use cod or haddock, but here I'm using tilapia, but you can use snapper. Use whatever you like, but it's got to be firm, boneless and meaty. So, I've put those to one side. Now what I'm going to do is make the batter. Plain flour. And into that, I'm going to add some bicarb. We'll season it with some salt and a little bit of pepper. At this point, if you want to add some chili powder to spice it up or a bit of garam masala, please do so. And I'm going to put some beer in there. Now, Traditionally, we make a beer batter, but if you don't want beer or you don't drink alcohol, use some soda water. So let's just start pouring this in. So you want the batter to be a little bit thick, but not too runny, just so that it coats the fish nicely. And now, just, I like to add a little bit of lemon juice. Give that a stir. Now, before I put my fish in, I'm just going to show you the consistency of this batter. So really, it should coat the back of a spoon like that. See? Beautiful. That's exactly what you're looking for. Cool. Right, the batter is done. I'm going to put this to one side, just to sort of rest for a little while. Some people say allow it to rest for about an hour, two hours, but really, it doesn't make much difference. I've tried both. Made the batter, fried it straight away. Made the batter, let it rest. Same results. Fish. First of all, I'm going to dredge it in some plain flour. We'll season it with some salt. A bit of pepper. Lovely. And now for my first fillet. Dredge it really well in the flour. Makes a bit of a mess, but don't worry too much about it. So make sure that the fillets are covered really well with flour, otherwise the batter won't stick. Now I've got these two, and now into my batter. Now, while this is happening, bear in mind that I have had the oil on all this time, and it's on a medium to high flame, because you want it to be hot. Now, as you pick up the fish, drain off any excess batter, and then put it in the oil, laying it away from you. See how it's puffing up? Like a little beauty. That's what you want. Don't handle it too much, because, you know, it's delicate. You want it to go nice golden brown. And while that one's working away, I'm going to get ready with my next little piece. Okay. 
So you remember the chips I fried first time. I'm going to put those back in the oil that I fried the fish in. Doesn't really matter. Make sure it's really hot. It's hot. You just want to gently refry these, and this time you want them to take on some colour. See how crispy they are. It's all about the rustle. And there you have it, guys. Traditional British fish and chips. Served with a bit of salt and vinegar. Need nothing else. Enjoy while watching EastEnders.